Okay, so I think we may start now. Um, good afternoon, dear friends, uh, dear future students who have joined us today, or who will be watching our um, YouTube translation later. Um, today, we are here to um, tell you few words about our master program in international business management, which is the program uh, offered by the Faculty of Economics uh, in English on master level. Uh, my name is Maria Ulyanova, I'm, I'm the counselor of the program, uh, and Jana Kratkova, uh, she's program coordinator, so today um, we will be telling a lot of information about this program together. Hello Jana, good to see you. <laughs> Well, Maria, it's, uh, I'm so happy to be here today. Okay, so I'll give you a word a little bit later uh, to share some important information. Okay, so let's start. Um, as I said, uh, the program in international business management is offered by the Faculty of Economics of Moscow State University uh, entirely in English. Um, few words about our faculty. We were uh, founded in 1941, so this year we will celebrate um, 80th year university anniversary, and um, our faculty is one of the leading uh, faculties uh, in the field of economics and management um, in Russia, and we are one of the biggest faculties of Moscow State University. Uh, we have about 2,000 undergraduate students, 600 graduate students, 400 postgraduate students, and 400 professors and researchers uh, working at the faculty. Uh, faculty has 22 faculty departments, which includes chairs and research laboratories, um, yeah, which are also 22. Um, we, uh, we are located at uh, main campus at uh, Vrabjovy Hills, uh, and you may see on picture uh, the main building of the faculty uh, of uh, Moscow State University. So our our uh, building located nearby this this wonderful uh, Moscow State University building. Um, so. Some um, particular features of uh, studying at uh, the Faculty of Economic. Um, so we have, um, uh, during your studies, you uh, will not only uh, study courses offered by the Faculty of Economic, but all students who joined any, any uh, programs of um, university, um, doesn't matter on which level, bachelor or master, all students have chance to take uh, so-called campus courses. These are the courses which are offered by other faculties. So you can broaden your knowledge, uh, not only in the sphere of uh, business management, uh, which is the, the focus of our program, but you can take any courses from uh, other faculties. And um, one of the new, newest requirements that one of these courses should be uh, in, in some way connected to uh, artificial intelligence. Um, so um, campus courses are available, uh, a, a huge variety of elective courses, which you may choose um, uh, during the second year of your studies, but I will uh, tell you uh, in more details about which courses are um, available a little bit later. Um, so international students who arrive to Moscow, they will be provided with the dorms. Uh, and uh, dormitory is located not far away from our building. Uh, it's about 15 minutes uh, by walk. Um, and so it's all in, in, in the same campus. Um, while you'll be studying at, the, uh, at our university, uh, you also can join uh, various student clubs, uh, which uh, some of them devoted to hobbies, to uh, research activities, uh, sports activities. So sports facilities are uh, also available and um, our building uh, has its own uh, gym located on the first floor. So you can also uh, uh, make sports uh, staying in uh, within one building. However, all other sports facilities are available. On, on this picture, you can see a, a, a baseball um, arena, which we have. 
you can play football, uh, you can play um, volleyball, basketball, uh, and do some, some other sports as well. Um, let's move on. Okay, so that was um, short information about uh, Moscow State University and our faculty. Now I'll tell you about uh, our program and how it is structured and uh, what you will be getting at, at the end of your studies. So um, our program is in international business management and uh, the program has uh, some unique features. So first of all, we are uh, all the education is provided in English. You don't have to know Russian uh, to study uh, international business management. Um, however, uh, when you arrive to Moscow, of course, we will provide you with the possibility to um, study Russian language as well. But uh, once again, the <clears throat> knowledge of Russian language is not, um, not required. Our program is offered jointly with our uh, partner, very good partner. It's uh, Yonchopping International Business School uh, located in Sweden in, in Yonchopping. And uh, students uh, can choose between two tracks uh, on, for, on their, during their second year. Um, they can either uh, choose a Moscow track and get uh, one degree from Moscow State University, that will be Master of Science in, um, in Management, uh, or they can uh, choose uh, to get double degree and um, go for studies to Sweden during their second year. And in this case, you would get two, um, two degrees, one from Moscow State University and another one is from uh, Yonchopik University. And um, uh, interna uh, Yonchopik International Business School, it's um, an internationally recognized school. It has two international accreditations, ACUS and AACSP. Um, we um, focus our uh, curriculum, our, our courses on um, building your interp uh, entrepreneurial um, uh, abilities and um, students who are, who are graduating from uh, our program, they build international careers. Uh, most of them work in international um, organizations uh, in Russia, in China, in Europe, so uh, all around the world. Um, so after finishing our program, you will, you, you will have a chance to build international career or even start your own business um, uh, in international uh, scope. Um, we will, during, us, uh, during your studies, you will familiarize yourself with best practices at large international companies, as well as small, medium-sized enterprises. Um, our um, courses are, uh, most, most of them uh, integrate masterclasses from uh, top management of um, widely recognized international companies like um, Unilever, L'Oreal, Reckitt Ben Kieser, SCA, and so on. Um, you can, uh, during uh, your studies, you would uh, develop your global leadership skills. And uh, that's the another scope. That's uh, and another skills we are um, um, uh, we're building in uh, our uh, graduates. So um, you will. Uh, the courses are devoted to uh, international business. You will study key concepts and recent trends. Um, in international business. And what is also important, uh, you will develop cross-cultural skills and global entrepreneurial instincts. Cross-cultural skills are very important now as um, when you will build your uh, future uh, career, most likely you would work with uh, people from different cultures and um, having uh, strong cross-cultural skills is very important now in building your career. Um, and um, as our program is international, yeah, so you will get a real international experience. 
through interacting with international team of lecturers uh, who represent different countries, Russia, Sweden, Germany, uh, United States. But also you will be studying with, um, uh, with students uh, representing different cultures and different countries. So you will be getting this international experience um, while you study, while you do the group teamworks with your uh, uh, peers, with your co-students. -co -co um, and you can in even enhance this uh, international experience if you choose to uh, get uh, double degrees and go to, and we will, you will go to Sweden uh, during the second year of studies. Okay, let's move on. Um, some words about courses. Um, our uh, academic year is divided into three parts, into three trimesters. And uh, on this slide, you may see um, uh, dates. Yeah, so first trimester would start 1st of September and um, ends uh, at the end of December. Then uh, there is usually 10 or 12 day break. Uh, and the second trimester starts 10th or uh, 11th of, of January, depending on the year, and will be finished by the end of March. Then you will have another uh, short one week break and the third trimester would start uh, in the beginning of April and ends at the end of June. Um, um, and uh, first year, um, you mainly yeah, you would study uh, courses which are obligatory. So first trimester, uh, these are courses uh, which are required to uh, obtain degree in, uh, in management. And uh, you will get courses in strategic management, organization and behavior, decision making, managerial economics, um, research methods and management, um, foreign language. Usually we um, uh, give uh, opportunity for our students to study Russian. However, you may also use uh, to study other languages like French, German, uh, and maybe even Spanish. Um, philosophy would be also obligatory course and um, uh, re research seminar. This is uh, also a very unique course which we offer. And you may see that research and practice seminar, uh, this is the course you will have uh, during each of the trimester. So this, this course um, uh, helps students to work uh, on their master thesis to uh, conduct their research. Um, and also the uh, research and practice seminar allows us to um, 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 show you or uh, get you acquainted with the very recent trends uh, in international uh, business. So if something happens new, yeah, we will discuss it during our um, research seminar. Um, and the campus course, which I, I told you about, uh, uh, each student has to take two campus courses. So these are the courses offered by other uh, departments, other faculties of Moscow State University. And first course you have to take during your first trimester and the second one during the third trimester. Um, so first uh, trimester, these are the courses uh, obligatory for all, um, uh, all programs in management. And starting from the second trimester, we would get um, courses which are specific to our subject or international uh, business management. And uh, here you would have international business, international communication and leadership, financial management and global environment, and research seminar. And starting from the third trimester, um, you already would have uh, a chance to uh, build your own educational track by um, selecting uh, elective course which, which uh, you think would be uh, relevant to your research interests or um, to your future career. And here we offer um, uh, courses in international marketing, in uh, international digital business, um, in human resource management, also international. So you can um, get in finance, you can get um, kind of a specialization. Um, then we have a uh, two months break uh, and uh, starting from the 1st of September in 2023, 
um, you would get your second get to your second year of studies, and uh, during fourth and fifth trimester, you will have only one um, obligatory course, which is research seminar, and uh, other courses are elective. So uh, during four, fourth trimester, you, you select three elective courses, and during fifth trimester, you would select. Uh, one uh, one elective course, and uh, here you may see uh, the internship. Internship is uh, another important part of our curriculum, uh, as we uh, emphasize the practical experience of our students. So you would um, uh, get chance to uh, have this internship in um, international or Russian companies and. Uh, here we assist students with finding inter internship, especially for our international students. Of course, we understand that it, it's not easy to find an internship, uh, also which could be provided in English. So um, our program and our career service uh, at uh, at our faculty would help us uh, help students to find places for um, internship. And uh, during sixth trimester, you finalize your studies, you finalize your uh, master thesis. Uh, here we will have a final exam and master thesis defense. So that these are usually conducted um, at the end of May. Um, so during the sixth trimester, uh, you would be preparing for your master thesis defense for your um, final exam. And uh, still you will have this course in research seminar. So that's how our uh, studies look like. Let's um, now, uh, I'll, I'll share information about um, tracks. Yeah, uh, tracks which you can use during your second year of studies. So as I told you at the beginning, uh, during the second year, you can choose between Moscow track and stay in Moscow and study at uh, Faculty of Economics, or you may choose double degree track and study in Sweden at uh, the Inchopping International Business School. Um, so for Moscow track, um, here are the list of um, um, elective courses which you may choose. So you see we have courses in international risk management, international business law, global trends and corporate governance, theories of digital business, digital marketing analytics, human resource management in international company, uh, companies, um, international practices of selling and sales management, foreign exchange transaction management, international market entry and expansion. And this is not the, the, the comprehensive list. We have uh, some few courses to offer. Um, and um, taking double degree track, you would um, you would take uh, two courses which are obligatory entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial growth and advanced leadership. Um, and uh, other uh, two other courses um, which are electives. And here also a list of, of possible courses, but the list is much, much bigger. So it could be market communication, uh, logistics, advanced supply chain management, corporate governance, uh, advanced management accounting and control, advanced security, markets and financial contracts. So um, um, here, yeah, you can, you can, um, also select courses which are uh, which corresponds to your um, uh, future career ideas or or your uh, research and also or if you choose the swedish uh, track the track in sweden in gyps uh, you can uh, you will have chance to study another foreign language which is sweet swedish um okay let's move on and um you can, if you have questions, you can uh, ask them in, uh, in the chat at our YouTube channel. So at the end of the presentation, we will uh, answer all of the questions that you have. Um, Jana, maybe you will share information about um, admission requirements, yeah, and what's new, okay, for of 2022. Mm -hmm. Of course, thank you very much. Uh, I will continue with the overview of our program uh, with the next issue that's um, 
that is related to the way you can get aboard. Uh, and now uh, let's see the typical timeline uh, of the admissions campaign at our faculty. Uh, usually uh, we start in June, on 20th of June um, starts application period. Uh, and you have one month uh, to submit your application documents. Uh, and then um, after June the 20th, uh, you are invited to participate in entry examination. Um, and this uh, period of exams uh, usually takes uh, one, two weeks. Uh, and as you can see in the comments, uh, the final schedule uh, will be announced uh, in January and we will um, share this information during our uh, next virtual open day. And finally, when all the exams are passed, uh, you know the results uh, and uh, the central admissions office uh, posts um, final rating, ratings of applicants uh, and uh, those who successfully passed the exams and um, are at the top of the rating, they are invited to get enrolled. Uh, and the enrollment procedure usually takes a couple of weeks. So that's how uh, it looks like usually. Uh, and uh, in this year, uh, we're communicating uh, with Central Admissions Office uh, on the possibility to uh, have um, an additional wave of um, application period in, in spring. Uh, possibly in March. Uh, if these negotiations are successful, then we also will share uh, information about them on our website. Uh, and we are encouraging you to uh, join our newsletter to uh, contact us directly at uh, our program email, or you can write an email to me. Uh, then we will uh, send you individual updates on our program. And of course, uh, the new and official uh, final schedule of uh, admissions campaign. So how uh, you can apply uh, within this uh, period of time that is granted for you? But there are three ways. Uh, the first one is um, to come in person to our faculty. You can see the address on the slide. Uh, the next one is uh, to send your educational documents and other documents included uh, in the application package uh, to our admissions office located at the faculty. And the third one, um, most popular way to apply is to use uh, Moscow State University Special Service for distant application. Uh, it is called the Banketa. You can see the um, website um, at the slide too. Um, if you are applying through the Banketa, uh, you can contact uh, the admissions office uh, and ask for uh, online help. Uh, through Zoom, or maybe uh, another way of communicating can be uh, suggested uh, by uh, the admissions office based on your uh, request. Uh, so you can be guided uh, if you have any um, difficulties or maybe some personal issues related to your documents. Uh, so even if you're applying not in person, you still uh, have uh, quite support from the faculty. Uh, the application set of documents uh, includes uh, those that you can see here. Uh, first of all, it's uh, your identity document, uh, and in case it doesn't contain information on your full name and other personal information um, stated in Russian, uh, in this case, uh, your identity document should be translated into Russian, and this translation should be notarized. Um, also, uh, you're required to submit uh, your photos. If you apply in person or by post, then uh, there should be eight photos uh, taken in 2022. If you're applying through the banqueta, uh, one digital photo uh, will make it. Um, the next uh, document is your educational document. It includes uh, your diploma uh, and uh, the transcript of records as well. Um, both documents are important. Um, they should be translated into Russian and not first. Uh, and copies of these documents should be submitted uh, during the application period. 
uh, well, then uh, the next three documents you can see, migration registration, visa, and migration card, uh, you should submit them only in case uh, if you are applying being in Russian. In other cases, uh, uh, you can skip uh, and you should skip uh, submitting these documents. Uh, next. Uh, issue I should uh, I would like to highlight uh, is the way you uh, legalize your educational documents. Uh, you, uh, if you uh, graduate from uh, universities located uh, in uh, certain countries that have um, agreements on abolishment of legalization of documents uh, between this country and Russia, uh, then uh, legalization is not required. And examples of some countries uh, you can see on the left uh, part of the slide. Uh, it's, um, it includes the former serious countries and uh, um, also China. Uh, then uh, other countries uh, that do not have um, uh, such an agreement with Russia, uh, the, uh, students uh, with uh, documents issued by these countries should provide documents legalized. There are two types of legalization. Uh, the first one is consul legalization and another one is apostle. Uh, and uh, you should um, look at the website, a special website you can, you can find at our master program uh, website as well and define uh, which way to, legal to legalize your education documents suits you uh, and you can also consult with us um, if you have any issues um, at this step um, so uh, after you have your educational documents uh, you can uh, submit your application package uh, and uh, if you uh, if your educational documents are uh, issued uh, outside of Russia uh, there is a uh, an early uh, way to uh, get them recognized at Moscow State University. Uh, from uh, the beginning of March, you can apply at the website recognition.msu.ru uh, and uh, you can get consultation, um, an official reply of Moscow State University, uh, whether your uh, educational documents are all right, uh, whether the legalization you provided is okay, uh, whether the translation meets all the requirements. Uh, and then uh, during the summer campaign, uh, you will uh, skip uh, most uh, uh, complicated steps. Uh, so it's uh, not obligatory to submit your educational documents at this recognition platform, platform uh, in spring. However, it can facilitate uh, the, the start of your uh, application um, process. Uh, and again, uh, speaking about the uh, documents uh, dealing with uh, different migration issues. Uh, if you're, uh, when applying, if you're at the territory of the Russian Federation, uh, you should submit uh, such documents as migration card, migration registration, and your visa. If you're from uh, a country uh, that requires um, getting visa to enter Russia. If you're outside of uh, the Russian Federation at the moment when you apply, uh, then only a copy of your passport uh, will be needed. Uh, that uh, was the key information uh, on how the uh, application process looks like. Uh, and after you apply it, uh, then comes the examination period. And uh, I will give the word to Maria uh, to discuss uh, uh, the most important <laughs> features of our entry exam. Right. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing uh, important information on the admission procedure. Uh, so it's very important to meet all the deadlines and uh, be in time with submitting all your documents. And I will tell you now about the entry uh, examinations requirements and uh, what is new. We have um, uh, changed uh, the content of exam uh, for, for the admission of 2022. So now uh, we have only two exam um, in international business management, which uh, consists of two parts. Um, first part is um, would be conducted in the form of test with the multiple choice questions, and uh, we will check your um, knowledge uh, in 
management, economic theory, uh, and statistics, which are the prerequisites to um, study, be able to study our program. Uh, and um, uh, the second part of this exam would be the individual interview. Um, so main objective of, of this interview, we will talk with each applicant um, uh, during, via Zoom, of course, yeah, so uh, all the exams will be run distantly. Um, so during the individual interview, yeah, we want to assess uh, applicants' communicative skills. We want to um, assess your ability to conduct a discussion. Uh, ability to express your own opinion, to provide arguments based on knowledge of contemporary trends in um, international business. And um, uh, before the interview, you will be asked to uh, submit your motivation essay, which will be also a base for uh, conducting interview and the base for, um, uh, uh, for discussion and for our question. So the basic knowledge which you have to know uh, for, for successfully pass this individual interview is um, understanding recent trends in international business um, and show your abilities to communicate and to um, uh, provide arguments in, uh, during the discussion. Um, this exam um, will, as Jana said, will take part uh, in June. Um, and um, uh, if we will be uh, having early exams, so uh, the first wave would be in um, April, but um, um, the additional information would appear soon, so don't uh, miss it. Um, there is, um, if you have a, a GMAT certificate, um, you can, we can um, take uh, your results of GMAT certificate instead of uh, exams. So uh, GMAT provides you a waiver from um, our internal exam in international business management. And um, I, on our website, you also may see what are um, uh, the scale for uh, transferring the results of GMAT into our uh, grading system. The maximum score you can get for uh, our internal exam is uh, 100 and the minimum uh, is 40. So uh, in order to uh, participate uh, in the uh, in the rating, you have to get at least 40 points uh, for our exam. The other possibility to uh, be admitted is to take part in our uh, international business case com competition. And uh, we had uh, conducted the first case competition uh, last year. Uh, that will be our second competition. Um, students who are uh, who, who will become winners and prize takers, they um, get possibility to be admitted without exam. And if you will be a, a winner um, of, uh, of our uh, case competition, you would get 100 points, which you can submit yeah, instead of your exam. And for prize takers, which is like second and the third place, you would get 85 points, um, which is uh, enough uh, to be uh, admitted. So using you can follow the score code and um, uh, get access to the uh, web page of our business case competition. We will start registration uh, in December, so uh, you can register. Um, we will uh, provide you a, a, a business case, um, and you will have to uh, submit your uh, decision and then present it. Um, so that, that that is really an, an interesting and uh, uh, exciting. A way to uh, be admitted because you you can um, uh, you you will be able to show your abilities and uh, business decisions yeah and uh, also know uh, the decision on on admission earlier than uh, the exams and um, all students um, uh, Russian or international they can uh, take part in this business case competition so. Um, uh, please take part in it. That 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 will be um, very exciting. I promise. Um, 
the enroll plan for 2022. So we have, uh, we admit five Russian citizens and 20 international students. Um, uh, however, uh, depending on, um, on the demand, these um, numbers could be um, uh, could, uh, could be uh, bigger and we can exceed this, this um, uh, number. So last, uh, the, the last admission in 2021, we have admitted 39 students um, and uh, they are coming from eight countries. Um, so at the beginning of our uh, presentation, I told you that you will be studying in the very international group of students. So last year we have students from China, Russia, India, Italy, Kazakhstan, Philippines, Turkey, United States of America. And um, uh, so this is this really helps you to develop your cross-cultural uh, skills and get friends all over the world for, for your uh, entire life yeah and um there is there is no requirement for your uh for the, the field of your bachelor degree and the only requirement is that you have to have the bachelor degree however um, uh, students with various backgrounds can um, be admitted uh, it's not only business and economics and finance we have students uh, who were uh, studying in IT, pedagogy, uh, international studies, technology, architecture, um, philology, linguistics. Yeah, so uh, various backgrounds. Um, however, uh, you can continue your studies in uh, uh, international business. And for uh, those students who uh, who didn't didn't study economics or business uh, in, uh, during their bachelor studies, and if uh, they lack knowledge in um, economics and business, we um, provide um, additional uh, courses to um, build those skills. So don't worry, we will help you to know everything which is important to study at the program. Um, and coming to the end of our presentation, here uh, contacts uh, of uh, me and Jana and um, Olga Subotina, uh, who is uh, in charge of uh, admission, and you were also contacting her during your studies. And uh, Ekaterina Sabanova uh, well, is also the head of the International Admission Office. So you will. Uh, contact um, with her and Natalia Belova as well. Um, I think we can. Um, um, we have another participants in our another participant in our um, presentation today, Alek Buklemishev. He is the vice dean for international relations at our faculty of um, economics. So, Oleg, maybe you can say a few words to future students. Thank you, Maria. I would like to greet the future, our future students uh, as a, a vice dean responsible for international relations uh, uh, and uh, meet me together with my team. We are doing our best to uh, improve life for our foreign, foreign, foreign students. And we have quite a big team. As you saw, uh, 39 students uh, were admitted uh, this year for this uh, IBM program, but we have uh, more than 400 uh, students at our faculty. Not all of them are uh, English speaking. Nevertheless, they represent uh, about 30 countries of the world and each seventh student uh, nowadays is an uh, international student. And we are proud that uh, our faculty is one of the most international in the Moscow University. Second thing I would like to say that we uh, uh, try to improve the regime by which uh, our future students uh, come to Russia, uh, submit their documents, are admitted, uh, the procedures uh, of, the, of the exams and the procedures of admission. And uh, uh, maybe uh, the news you, you were informed about today, uh, they will be accompanied by other good news from the government. 
a uh, couple of days ago, the State Duma, Russian, uh, the low chamber of the Russian parliament, it approved the, in the first reading the law, which uh, significantly uh, improves the regime for uh, migration for those students who need visa to Russia. And uh, they'll probably get uh, the visa for the whole length of their stay in Russia in one turn, in one go. So uh, it, uh, uh, it will certainly improve and uh, uh, make life easier for all of you who uh, have to uh, uh, get visa and uh, have to uh, re uh, get the approval for uh, staying here. And now uh, all of the students, as you uh, were told, uh, can submit uh, documents via uh, electronic uh, system, which is also a convenient way to uh, deal with us. Uh, and you need not come to Russia to do that. Uh, but uh, for another, uh, another issue, I, I have. Uh, I want to make this point clearly. We still believe that online education, while convenient and uh, efficient in certain ways, is not the best way to uh, provide education, provide uh, especially master uh, studies for uh, students and for international students too. Uh, nowadays, uh, fa our faculty uh, pr provides uh, both online and offline studies. We have to uh, deal with kind of mixture of these conditions, but as conditions of the sanitary COVID-19 improve, we uh, will get back to normal offline education. And we still believe that person-to-person uh, -person, uh, education is the best way to uh, provide people with uh, modern knowledge and the uh, all the uh, uh, knowledge they need to succeed in the uh, in the modern world, so that uh, we uh, we insist that offline studies will soon soon or later uh, resume. Nevertheless, uh, all the procedures all we learned during this period of online online features, uh, many of them are so convenient that we will keep them and uh, moreover, uh, we'll probably find a way to make life easier for you even more. Uh, we wait for, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you uh, first your documents, uh, you at the, our future events. And uh, you see there will be probably three ways to, uh, three routes to get uh, to our next year IBM International Group. And uh, uh, I wish you all the success in this, uh, 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 in this exercise. Uh, good luck. Thank you, Oleg, and thank you for sharing this wonderful news concerning uh, immigration uh, regime and uh, the changes which are coming up soon. Um, Jana, I, I think that we have some questions in, in YouTube. Maybe you can uh, read them. That's right, that's right, yes. Uh, we uh, were asked uh, how do we advise to prepare for the admission exam? Where should students study from? Uh, any recommended literature? And uh, yeah, let's uh, <laughs> first answer this question. Uh, well, uh, regarding the uh, recommended literature, I have submitted uh, an, um, a link uh, to the program uh, of the exam, and uh, right there you can find the list of uh, recommended literature uh, based on topics included. Uh, maybe, um, Maria, uh, do you like to provide any uh, guidance over the preparation overall? Yes, sure. Um, so um, I suggest that uh, you go to our website and uh, check the admission exam program. So there we provide you detailed information on uh, topics which could be asked during the exam and you, you may find the literature to prepare. Um, also, uh, starting from February, we usually run uh, uh, courses, uh, preparatory courses, so you can um, uh, join these courses and uh, the link is also available uh, on the web page of um, our program. So that 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 could be a, a good way to prepare for exam, especially for the test part, which assess your knowledge in management 
um, economics and statistics. So if you uh, if you didn't have such courses in your bachelor's studies, so it could be a good way um, uh, to take this preparatory courses and um, uh, and get get this knowledge uh, important for for successfully pass um, the examination. Um, Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. continuing this topic, uh, there is a question, is it preferred to take part in the case study competition or in the entrance exam? Uh, well, the uh, case study competition can be uh, your first step towards preparation. Uh, it's um, a volunteer, uh, it's your voluntary choice, uh, it's optional. Uh, you can uh, try uh, your skills, try uh, check your knowledge at this competition and become its winner, become its prize taker, and then it will be the end of your <laughs> examination period for the program. Uh, if you do not participate or if you uh, do not uh, take the prize, uh, it's normal, uh, then you just take our entry exam. However, I suggest that you take part in the business competition because you can uh, you can try uh, yourself and um, and uh, uh, probably get uh, get admission early. Yes, yeah? so by by March you would already know if you were admitted uh, or not. And then, of course, if you fail to become a, a prize winner or or a winner, then you can take part uh, in our uh, exams. So I suggest that you do both. Um, and this is really a good, exciting way to be admitted earlier and also to get to know um, students, potential students of our program, because last year, um, all of our winners, they have submitted applications and, and, uh, yeah, and then they are now students of um, our program. And also you can, uh, during this case, uh, business case competition, uh, you get to know the, the jury and the jury consists of our uh, professors. Um, so it's also a good way to, to, to get to know uh, people with whom you would be studying and your future professors. Thank so take much. part. Thank you, Jana, for the question. Uh, another question uh, concerns scholarships. Uh, is there any possibility of scholarship for international students? Well, unfortunately, uh, we uh, don't provide a scholarship for students. However, you may apply um, for a scholarship in, in your countries. Uh, some of our students from China, they uh, apply for educational grants um, in China and uh, how many students we have who has successfully got, got this scholarship last year? So uh, two, two students. Three, yeah. Two students uh, yeah. So you can apply for, for your um, uh, national governmental grants if they are available. And of course, we can help you with uh, providing recommendations and other uh, required uh, letters. But, um, but, but the program itself does not uh, provide any scholarship, unfortunately. Um, another question is about application. Uh, what is the right time to apply for this program? Uh, well, once again, uh, the uh, common uh, period of application is uh, June 20th till July 20th. So in summer, uh, possibly uh, there will be uh, a first wave in spring. We will announce about it additionally in case uh, there is. Um, and this is it. Okay, thank you. Are we, do we have more questions? Uh, well, that was the last one. Um, yeah, no more questions left. Mm -hmm. So I just want to, to uh, also um, specify that uh, we, we, we get many questions concerning the uh, uh, COVID situation, so how the um, education, uh, education process is changing, what to do, for those students who, who are not able to uh, come to Russia. So we, uh, we still um, have such cases and uh, if you are not able to come to Russia and we hope, we hope of course, that that shouldn't be the case for, for the next admission, but um, yeah, you, we cannot really forecast how the situation will develop. 
So, however, uh, if you get, if you would be admitted, yeah, if you want, if you will start study, of course, you, we will provide you um, possibility to study uh, online if you will not be able to um, enter Russia. Um, but we believe, of course, that the 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 uh, face-to-face -face offline education, of course, is much, uh, much better. However, um, uh, our online courses are also developed in a very interactive way. And um, I, sh I wouldn't say that the quality of, uh, of online education is worse, but of course, the, 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 you, you will be missing the face-to-face -face interaction with your peers and um, with professors. So we really hope that starting from the 2022, um, all of our courses would be run um, offline. However, please don't worry if uh, something wrong with entering for, for students would, would be some problems with entering Russia, we will provide possibility to study online. Thank you. One more question uh, mm -hmm. appeared. Uh, mm -hmm. If a student is admitted to the master program, uh, will he receive a room in the student accommodation? Um, sure. Uh, if uh, you should, uh, when applying to the program uh, in the application form, you should uh, indicate that you uh, need a place in the dormitory. Uh, and uh, in practice, uh, all the uh, international students who applied for a place in the dorm actually received it. Yeah, so we, we prioritize international students and in providing dorms. However, some of students, they rent apartments, so uh, this is also possible. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, I cannot see any new questions uh, in the chat or in the question submissions form, uh, but still we are keeping in touch uh, with you by emails and there will be uh, new open days uh, to come. So please stay in touch with us too. Yeah, and uh, we will be happy to answer any questions. So thank you for joining today our info session, our presentation of International Business Management Program. Uh, we would be happy to see you as our future students and welcome to Moscow State University. See you soon.